So, Kevin, you are the Congressional Fellow Subcommittee Chair, is that right? That's correct, of the Government Affairs Committee. And tell me about the program. What do you do? So the Congressional Fellowship Program is a really unique opportunity where we actually take PhD level scientists and place them on Capitol Hill as science advisors to a member of Congress or to a committee in the House of Representatives or the Senate to provide scientific expertise to the policy making process. Ah, so what kinds of people normally choose to become involved in this kind of program? Well, it's, so it's open to any scientist, either early career or mid-career. The only requirement that we have is it's an MRS-sponsored program. We require that they be either a member of the MRS or eligible for membership and have a PhD or other comparable advanced degree. Sometimes they're early career scientists straight out of graduate school. Maybe they finish their postdoc. And sometimes we have mid or late career professors who are using this as their sabbatical year or going through a career transition. So it's really open to all scientists with an interest in public policy. And what's the point of, pro of this program? What's your main goal? How important is it to have scientists be directly involved with public policy? It's a great question. All of our, our goal is about providing scientific expertise to the policy process. Scientists often don't realize the ways in which public policy and what happens in Washington and the legislative process affects the way that science is conducted in this country, whether it's about the federal budget and how much research funding is available for science to actually be conducted versus policy issues that might affect the kinds of work that can and cannot be conducted in, in the United States. And it's really important that scientists who really have, understand the impacts of those decisions, that they have a voice at the table. And the point is to provide that expertise on a daily basis to really help policymakers understand the impacts of their decisions to science. How long does the fellowship last and what's the experience like your, for your uh, congressional fellows? It's a one-year program. It starts every year on September 1st. We have two slots available and it goes for one year, so it goes until the end of August in the following year. And scientists have never worked in a world like this. It's really fast-paced, decisions made on very short notice with limited information and it's really important that scientists learn how that process works so they understand how they can have a voice even after they after they leave Capitol Hill. Our fellows, sometimes, some of them really choose to stay in Washington and stay involved in the policy process. Some go back to academia and take that information back to their laboratories with them to understand how to be effective advocates for science and how to run their, sci their labs and to conduct their science in a more effective way and understand what kind of messages they need to be thinking about of how to how to market their science essentially and, and be more effective researchers. Some go back to some go to industry and some some really stay in stay in government and, and in Washington. So we see all kinds of outcomes of our fellows, but they all agree that it's an incredible experience and a whole new education. Who are some of the congressional members that your fellows have worked with and what kinds of public policy uh, did they have an impact on? Our members have worked, for, our, our fellows have worked for all different kinds of members of Congress, both in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, in personal offices versus in committee staffs. And wh who you're working for and what kind of office you're working in has a lot to do with the kind of work that you do. We've had fellows that have worked on energy policy, st uh, science education, research funding, budget, tax policy, huge range of topics. And MRS doesn't influence what kinds of things you work on. We say, congratulations, you are our fellow, you made it through our selection, our, our selection process, and we want you to go and interview on Capitol Hill in the, and find the best fit in terms of your interests. And it's a partnership through the, uh, the AAAS, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and they, they administer that placement process and really provide a lot of great resources for the fellows coming in, knowing that this is a huge transition. And AAAS also provides great career development and professional development activities and resources throughout the year. So it's, it's really a, a well-managed, well-administered program that our fellows get a lot out of. And so how does someone find out more about becoming an MRS Congressional Fellow? So we, uh, we have a, a link, a page on the MRS website. It's under the Advocacy tab. And we have all the information there. Right now, we've just completed our selection process for this coming fall, for the 2013-2014 year. But I expect around September 1st, that information will be updated for the next application year. Applications are usually due around the 1st of January. And certainly encourage anybody with an interest in policy or the way that science is conducted in the U.S., concerns about research funding, to really look at it very seriously. It's a great opportunity. And what's the top three criteria to get into the program? The only absolute requirement that we have is having a PhD level degree, 
So that, that is one requirement, and there is a date by which your degree has to be completed. And a, a, a demo, an interest in public policy, you don't have to have an experience in policy or working in Washington, just an interest about the way the decisions get made and the way that science is conducted. Those are the only real requirements. And how long have you had this fellowship program in place? We've had it since, I believe, 1995. So we have, uh, be bet between the two different slots that we have, we've had now more than 20 different fellows mm -hmm. that, ha that have come through, and all of them have provided great feedback. It said, this is a position that I would have never thought about holding. They learned about it through the MRS and said, wow, that's really a unique opportunity for a, science, a scientist to really understand how government works. Wonderful program. Kevin, thanks for telling us more about it. Thank you for your time.